Hi guys, welcome to Webzeda. In this one, I'm going to talk about uh, creating a navigation bar in Jekyll. So there are many ways to do it. I'll show you one by one uh, and uh, I'll also show you the best way to do it. So let's get started. I'm going to create a folder here. And uh, I'm going to open it, maybe open a terminal. And I will um, open this in a in VS code. I'll move it. Um, I will also run Jekyll server. So Jekyll server um, serves this file. Okay, so it's generating a underscore site. Now, let's go to the code. Now I have it here and uh, the served site is here uh, there is nothing there because i mean it's it's not showing anything because i don't have a file i'll create an index file here and using emmet plugin i'm i'm doing this this is a basic html uh, i'll have these three dashes so that jekyll recognizes this and once i have it i can uh, have something in the body I'll just have high let's see if that comes up yeah so we have it I'll zoom in a little bit okay so what we need here is a navigation bar but uh, navigate to where right so I'll create some pages um, I'll have uh, a permalink which says where this page should be in in which URL uh, this page should be We'll have it as a boat. Close it. We'll just have a H1 which says about. Okay, we'll have another page. Maybe contact. I'll have the same structure. I'll make this contact and even here. So I can, uh, on the right side, I can just go to about and it should work. And if I go to contact, that also works. So this is exactly why we need uh, a menu bar so that we can go to other uh, locations or lo other pages easily. So I have this nav tag here. So I will have a, um, an ordered list inside and I'll have a list item and I'll have an A tag inside. And then I can have about and the href is about now i can copy the same thing call this contact i can also have a trailing slash since that is the url that i mentioned okay so yeah that shows up uh now uh i can i think i can uh, have live reload uh, on so i'll just do that chickle server dash dash live reload that would be easier okay coming back to the site yeah I have it uh, I have the menu uh, which uh, redirects to you know both the pages I'll have one more maybe um, something like subscribe okay so these are markdown files I'll use the same format for subscribe as well. Okay, that should do it. Uh, okay. Now I have uh, three things here. Um, one thing I can do is, you know, uh, these menu items does not show uh, in other pages let's say I go to subscribe page the menu item doesn't show here so what I can do is I can move this to a layout this complete navigation to a layout what I'll do is I'll take it out and I'll create a new folder called layouts and I'll have a default layout dot HTML and then here I'll have the three dashes of course and I'll have the navigation and then I'll have content so what this is the layout that is used whatever uh, 
content we give that will be um, that will come inside this now what I do here is you know I can also take this entire thing and put it here and since every page will have this so there is no point having it there so these are common for all the pages so yeah it's done now for index I'll have some content like uh, home yeah this is the or maybe I'll need HTML tag since index is HTML file we'll have h1 home and then here what I have to do is I have to mention which layout should it use so I'll use default so I'm gonna copy this and make sure all the pages use the same layout okay so once that is done um, we can uh, get back okay so we have the menu at the top if I go to contact so everywhere uh, this menu stays so that I can navigate from one page to another now this doesn't look good uh, we can actually style it so I will have the style here itself so that you know I'll not create a new file having a file is better now uh, I can say there is only one ul but I will make sure I have this now.ul um, I'll have a display flex that should make sure you know uh, they arrange like this and there is uh, a list style I'll have it as none there is a dot showing up so I don't want that and then for the ul uh, now well, li for the list item uh, I'll have uh, a margin right maybe of uh, 20 pixels let's see how that works yeah 20 is too much I'll have 10 so yeah you see that you know it looks like a menu now I can also style them a little bit like uh, text decoration none I hope that works on this maybe I should have it on the a tag so now we will ally. I don't have to target like this but uh, with so many you know, chain things but I want to make sure it doesn't uh, go to the other ones I mean if I am using another a tag this shouldn't affect so I can have a color of uh, um, uh, I don't know maybe green not a good color for this but yeah so I can also have hover effect uh, have the same thing hover and then maybe uh, you know um, there is a text decoration of underline yeah that should be enough now if I hover over it uh, it shows an underline and uh, that shows the active state uh, yeah another thing is you know uh, we want to show something like you know if we are in the contact page it should show that we are in the contact page by showing uh, maybe a, a different color or the underline so underline should always be there if we are in the contact page and if you are in the about page the underline should show that it's we are in the about page so i can also have a you know home page yeah uh, i'll zoom out a little bit yeah so there are four pages now all right now this is all good we have hard coded it but a better way to show those active states is uh, using a data file so i have already discussed how to use data file so if you haven't uh, watched that video uh, you can still uh, learn it here so what we do is you we create a new file called data and uh, we have a new file called menu.yaml and here we can mention all the menus so first one being home i'll just have uh, the title as home so you can have anything there the title name uh, doesn't matter link is uh, hash so i'm gonna repeat these a few times so we have four that should be enough about and this is contact and this is a uh, subscribe all right 
now um, our data file is ready I'll just space it out so that it's uh, easy to understand what's happening here so I just mentioned uh, you know a list of items where uh, I have all the menus now I have to use it there so I'll keep the previous one I'll just have another one here you will I'll remove the previous one after completing this okay so after you will the repeating thing is li and a a tag so I'll have a for loop here okay uh, liquid for loop for item in uh, site dot data dot menu so we have to call the file name and then we have to end it and for okay I'll have this li tag inside it then I'll create an a tag then I'll have uh, item dot link that's what uh, that's what is there in this right link so uh, I'll show you what item is so I'll just show you the item how it comes up so item is item has title is an object with title and link so item dot link will get only the link I think that's pretty straightforward okay so here we need the title item dot title okay we have it so we have the same thing and it works like the previous one we can just remove that this will just reduce your code and you can also you know manage your links from here now on so you don't have to touch the code so this becomes easy now um, we have to show the active state right so there is something called page.url so let's uh, let me uh, print that out here so when you have uh, something like page.url so it shows the url of the page for about this is this right so what i can do is i can compare that with the item link and add a class here so let's say class equals um i can have a if condition inside if page.url equals equals i can also have triple equals i think yeah uh link sorry item dot link if they are all they both are equal then i will have active okay so that's that's all i need and if so if you cannot see it properly i'll just yeah do this now you will have an active class if page url is equal to item dot link then you will have an active class otherwise you don't so what happens here is i can check uh, i can inspect now i see that there is active for home page uh, but that is not the same case for about because active class is not there uh, so we can use this to style it better so I'll have uh, a I'll have the same thing dot active oh I can just have dot active I mean that, that should be okay if you are not using it somewhere else you can have just active text decoration underline right so now home shows this underline and if i go to about that shows the address so this shows the active state of all the you know uh, items in the menu so this is i think the best way to create a menu in jekyll site a uh, good thing about this is that let's say uh, at a later point you add another page so you can just have to like you know uh, copy paste this and the other one will add up uh, to the list automatically right so you don't have to do much right so it's showing the same thing because uh, yeah so that, that will just uh, you, you can just keep adding so you don't have to touch the code so you can have many data files like that or uh, use the same data file for multiple things it will just work so that's it guys if you liked it give a thumbs up and thanks bye